the Air France KLM Group placed an order with Airbus for 50 A350s, with the option to purchase a further 40. Between 2026 and 2030 is the delivery window for the aircraft. Both the shorter A350-900 and the longer A350-1000 are included in the order. The 50 airplanes will be divided among the companies in accordance with upcoming market trends and legal requirements. Older aircraft from both carriers, including the Boeing 777-200ER, Airbus A330-200, and A330, will be replaced by the A350. KLM CEO Marjan Rintel said of the purchase, with the A350S, we can greatly improve the cleanliness, quietness, and efficiency of our fleet. We face the enormous challenge of continuing to remain sustainable, therefore this is crucial. Additionally, we can provide our customers better comfort and service when traveling internationally. Air France KLM will also become the biggest A350 user in the world with this order. KLM's desire to expand its fleet with Airbus A350S was previously highlighted. 2011 saw the first significant order for the A350 from Air France KLM. It was decided in 2017 that KLM would receive seven of these aircraft. The machines would then be delivered in 2020, as per the plan. Instead of adding more A350S to KLM's fleet in 2019, it was decided to do so using 787s. For new Airbus A350F cargo planes were ordered by Martin Air, a member of the KLM Group, last January. With up to 40% less noise and 25% less fuel usage than a comparable earlier generation of aircraft, the new Airbus A350 is seen as a big step toward creating a cleaner and quieter fleet. The aircraft's body is mostly made of durable, lightweight materials, titanium and composite, which enables it to travel farther distances while using less fuel. This acquisition will significantly aid in the development of cleaner, quieter, and more affordable aviation, in addition to the usage of sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, and additional operational innovation and efficiency. The Airbus A350 makes a further contribution to the objectives of comfort, efficiency, and customer experience. With the advent of the A350S and the roughly 50 aircraft already on order from the A320neo family, Airbus firm KLM, formerly a genuine Douglas company and currently predominantly a Boeing company, increasingly changes into an Airbus company. There was interest in a wide-body fleet with only 787s and 777s a few years ago.